Hello friends, this is Krista Alicia, and um, I'm just coming to you live from my prayer room. It is 12 o'clock on Monday, and I just really felt led of the Lord to hop on here and to uh, invite all of my friends and followers to come meet me on the mountaintop of His presence today. So if you're on here, say hey, let me know where you're watching from. Hey Janine, hey Donna, so good to have you guys on here. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, Sonia, so great to see you here. Jillian, it's my friend Jillian. Hey Liliana, it's so awesome to see you guys. Hey, if you're watching this, please share this video. Hey Jay, you're from London, that's amazing. Hey, from on the other side of the pond. Michael from Colorado. What's up, Michael? Love your name. Donna from uh, Ohio. Hey, you're my neighbor. Gina, praying and watching from Glendale, Arizona. Hallelujah. Hey, Chelsea. Guys, I'm so excited to have you all here. Please do me a favor. Share, share, share this video. I am... Um, so the Lord has actually convicted me, uh, has been telling me for a while now that um, he wants me to start doing regular like midday prayer meetings on Facebook Live. And he said that uh, I should call it the mountaintop meet because that is where traditionally all throughout scripture, uh, people went to go meet with the Lord on the mountaintop. It was on the high place, right? So in the spirit, we are, the Bible says that we are on earth, but simultaneously we are seated in Christ in heavenly places. Amen. So you may be watching this wherever you're at on your lunch break or whatever, but simultaneously, if you're in Christ, then you are seated next to him or in him next to the father in the throne room. Amen. And um, so when we pray, we are going to pray and we are going to pray from that position from heaven to earth, not from earth to heaven. Okay. So, Hey guys, this is awesome. If you guys have prayer, like private groups that you uh, manage or that you're a part of and you can post in, please post this there. So these meetings, I just feel really impressed for the next couple weeks that we should be praying for our nation, okay? We should be praying for our country. And um, so if you guys are here, we are going to spend some time focusing on the nation that we belong in. Hey, my Aunt Sharon is on here. Hey, Aunt Sharon. Um, so we're going to pray for what's happening in the country. And um, this is going to be interactive, okay? So you guys are going to be praying with me. I'm not just going to be praying by myself. I want you guys to participate. I want you to be praying in your prayer language. I want you to be agreeing with yes and amen. I want you to release the decree of the Lord in the comments, okay? Um, I want you to, you know, let us know like what you feel the Lord is saying to release. Um, and because because you are part of this so you know god desired a people not just a person he desired a people and um so i want you all to be here on the mountaintop with me um to pray into what the lord is doing amen so please this is totally interactive all right um so again share this and so I just wanted to like, the Lord has given me a scripture to pray. And then there was something else that I wanted to do from whoop, big bangs from, uh, the give him 15 app, uh, for the appeal to heaven, uh, movement that Dutch sheets, uh, started. And yeah, so here's the other thing, guys. I know that, um, you know, People think that this is about a particular candidate, and it's really not. Um, or they think that it's about, like, you know, 
uh, prophets protecting their reputation and that's not it either. Believe me, I threw my reputation out the window years ago when I decided that I was going to do anything and everything to have the fullness of Christ and that if he hung naked and ashamed on a cross, then I will be even more so full for my Jesus, okay? So this is not about my reputation. This is about the, the, the will of God, his kingdom being made manifest on earth. This is even about, guys, like our freedoms as American citizens that we have a constitution that was wrote uh, that was wrote to protect our rights as free individuals and to uh, protect our voting process, okay? And so for a long time, the intercessors of the nation have been praying that corruption and evil in our government would be exposed. And now we have people on all parties. It's not just the Republicans or the GOP. This is like even Democrats that are coming forward and saying that voter fraud has been a part of our election process for a long time, but they've never seen anything like it on this kind of massive scale. And if the body of Christ, if the ecclesia, God's governing people do not stand up and have a voice in this hour, then our nation is going to lose its freedoms. This election is, uh, if, if the right things are not done and the right process is not brought before the Supreme Court, if corruption and fraud is not addressed in this election, then we are going to be risking every election after this. Do you hear me? Whoever, regardless of who has the most, you know, who, who won the electoral votes, which I personally believe is Donald Trump, but regardless of that, this isn't about that. This is about integrity and our, and our, uh, our governmental processes that give us, we the people, the rights to our freedom to choose who we desire to run the nation. So regardless of where you see stand if you, you know, have particular uh, convictions about voting for, for Biden, if you have particular convictions about voting for Donald Trump, Trump, then it doesn't matter where you stand. What matters is that in the body of Christ, we are one and we should not be squabbling against each other, but as Christians, we should actually care whether or not the truth comes out because Jesus is truth. He is the word of truth. Amen. And so this is not about, you know, the pettiness or about disagreements and what we believe about particular men. This is about as the body of Christ, we are one. Jesus prayed in uh, John 17 before he went to the cross. He said, I pray for the ones that would come after these, that they would be one as we are one, Father, that they would be known by the their love and by their unity, okay? And so you and I, regardless of where we stand on the political polarity, this is about integrity and truth and justice and righteousness coming forth in our nation, okay? This is protecting our rights for our children and our children's children, okay? So I want you all to be in this with me. I want you all to be praying this with me. I want you, you know, to... um to to be interactive i want you to share this video okay because the bible says that anything that has been hidden in darkness that he will be exposed it will be come to the it will come to the light and i truly believe look the the lord promises us that um everything that was meant for evil that he will turn around for our good and right now we are in the midst of a not just a global reset but in our nation god is trying to reset uh, the scales of justice in our nation and um and we are honored participants 
do you get that? Like we get to be a part of this thing. So that is really, really exciting. So, um, guys, I just want you to know too, um, we're, this is like to pray for our nation. This is to pray for our brothers and sisters. This is to, to pray that God's will would be done and his kingdom would come, um, on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. This is to be one. This is to be in one accord and in unity, regardless of where we stand. Christina Garcia said, I just, yeah, hallelujah. Come on. So, uh, but I, I, and I felt really prompted. Usually you guys know that I love to do like private or personal, like prayer time or, um, you know, ministry, prophetic ministry or healing or whatever. But I felt today that the Lord just wanted me to like, this is our mission. And, um, it's to release his heart over the nation. So, um, if you're on here and you're requesting prayer, I bless you. Um, that, you know, God knows your needs before you request them. And, um, but this spe specifically, this is for, uh, his will to be done in the nation. Okay. Um, so with that being said, I really felt like, um, we should just, uh, I was going to start with the give him 15 app and I want to start this session off with just entering his courts with Thanksgiving. Okay. So I want all of you to please like just in your own hearts, in your own way, go before the Lord. Just focus your attention, focus your attention and your affection on Jesus, on Yeshua the Messiah, okay? And engage with him in your heart, you know? So Lord, we just love you. Father, we love you. Yeshua, we love you. You are beautiful, you are glorious, God. God, I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the day and the season and the time that we are living in, God. That, you know, although it seems that all hell is breaking loose, you raise a standard against the enemy. That when the enemy comes in like a flood, you uh, lift your standard against him. God, that all things work together for your good, that in the darkness of night, you are the light that shines, that breaks like the dawning of a new day. And so, Father, we just thank you that you are light. We thank you that you are love. We thank you that you are with us, that you will never leave us, that you will never forsake us, God. We thank you that when we cry out to you, you come running with a father's help and with a father's affection because you are a good father and lord there is none like you guys just engage with him engage with him right now there is none like you father there is none like you you alone are holy you alone are truth you alone are justice you alone are mercy you alone are good and we get to be recognized as good because we are in you, you know, and, and guys, I just feel like, you know, go back, go back to that place when he first found you, where you were lost, where you were destitute, where you were dead in your sin. I, I want you to go back to that place. I want you to remember that place where he found you and where he broke through for you. Okay. And so Jesus, like, I thank you that when I was addicted to drugs, when I was homeless, when I lived in a tent, when I was suicidal, when there was no way that I could save myself, Jesus, you showed up for me. You came into my miry pit and you picked me up. You picked me up out of that filth, out of that dirt, out of that hopelessness. And in your love, you set me on a high place. You restored my life. Jesus, not only that, but you restored all the years that the locust ate. You restored all of the destruction that the enemy wreaked in my life and, and that I wreaked in my own life through my own terrible decisions because my heart was wicked and far away from you. God, I thank you that you resurrected me, that because you went to the cross and you nailed my old nature to the cross and because by the power of your spirit and your love, you 
raised to life again on the third day so that I could be raised to new life. So that I could be alive. God, that my heart could be resurrected by the power of your love. That I am no longer dead, but I am alive in you. God, you are wonderful. You are wonderful. And so, God, I thank you for today. I thank you for each person under the sound of my voice. I thank you for the testimony of what you have done in our lives corporately. What you have done in our lives corporately. And God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you that you are not done with us. That you are not done with our nation. You are not done with us. You are not done with us. You are not done with the United States of America. In fact, you've only begun. You've only begun. And so God, I thank you. I thank you for the way that you set up our government. God, I thank you that your government, that our government is supposed to reflect your government and that God, when it operates the way that it's supposed to operate, it is a good thing. Thing that brings peace and justice and righteousness and wholeness and prosperity to the land in which it governs. So, Father, we pray for your government to come onto our nation. We pray, we come under, we come under your government, Jesus, because you are the one. It's on your shoulders that the government rests. And Lord, I thank you that you have trusted us with your Holy Spirit. You have trusted us with the keys to the kingdom that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven and so father we just loose your governmental angels we loose uh the the angels that stand in your courts god that send out your decrees and your documents in jesus name and father we thank you for peace we thank you for uh for uh unity right now in the body of Christ. We thank you that although you are coming to separate the wheat from the tares, that your desire is that none would perish, but that all would be saved. And so Father, I just thank you for what you're doing. I dedicate this life to you. I dedicate my life to you. I dedicate everything that I have to you, Jesus, and to you alone. And so, Father, I just ask that you would have your way right now. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind a spirit of discord. I bind a spirit of strife. I bind a spirit of witchcraft. I bind demonic manifestations on this live in Jesus mighty name. We take authority over the atmosphere here in this room and anywhere that this broadcast is being, uh, is going through the airwaves, God, and into people's homes. We bind those things in Jesus mighty name. We say that they are not allowed to move forward or to hinder or to cause confusion or strife or chaos in Jesus name. And uh, Lord, we just thank you um, for the the testimony of miracles that's going to come forth. We thank you that the things that we pray um, through these meetings that we are going to see manifest in our nation, in our homes, in our lives, in Jesus name mighty name because it's all about you God it's all about you it's all about you it's all about you hallelujah 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 oh I bind the spirit of backlash and retaliation in Jesus mighty name I bind the spirits of backlash and retaliation in Jesus mighty name and Lord I just I loose uh, your protective watchers, your guards, uh, your angelic hosts to guard your people, to watch them and they're coming in and they're going. And I plead the blood of Jesus over them, that in the blood of Jesus, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm can come to them in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. Whew. All right. I already feel the fire, guys. You feel the fire? You know, guys, if you have a, um, 
If you have been baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, I am going to uh, suggest that while you are on these these Monday mountaintop uh, prayer meetings, that the whole time that we are on this live, if you are able to pray in the Spirit, if you have not received your prayer language, hey Gloria, hey Christy, um, if you guys have not received your prayer language, um, there is a video that I posted just Thursday last week. I have got absolutely wild testimonies coming off of that video, like people praying in tongues, um, um, after they hadn't for years and thought that they lost it and spontaneously getting healed. Um, people experiencing like the electricity of God, shaking, laughing, um, you know, Hey, Christy, thanks for those stars. I really appreciate those. Um, so, and, uh, and even more, um, so people being baptized for the very first time in the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues and then not being able to pray in English, like for hours. Um, so the Lord desires for you to, to pray in the Holy Spirit because that is, that is literally the Holy Spirit praying through you the very best prayer okay that Jesus like the scripture says that Jesus lives to make intercession for us and uh, so Jesus that is literally praying in tongues is Jesus interceding through you so that his word can go forth and produce that which it was sent to do in the natural realm okay so if you pray in tongues i ask you to please the whole time that we are doing this unless i advise you not to because the lord is doing something else to pray in the spirit okay so um i am going to um read the give him 15 for today which is uh it's for november 9th 2020 and um, this has a prayer that we can pray and a decree. And then we are just going to um, go into a time. I'm going to begin to just pray prophetically. If you guys are getting anything, um, you know, that you feel needs released, um, please put it in the comments. And uh, I will do my very best to see those things. Guys, those of you that are watching, if you are watching and I miss a comment that is like, you know, your spirit witnesses with a decree or something that somebody else is posting, I want you to please, with your mouth, decree it because God speaks and it creates. And God said that the power of life and death is in the tongue. Whatever we speak will be made manifest, right? There's power um, in the mouth of kings and priests, and that's what we are. So I want you guys to partner with each other, partner with me. Um, okay, so we cannot be muzzled, all right? Uh, at, a, at our Reset 2020 gathering in October, Chuck Pierce said, the Lord has been saying to me, behold, I do a new thing. This phrase speaks of reset to me. In the midst of Israel's captivity, God said he had a plan to do a new thing. I believe we are in a place where God is saying, I am activating my plan to do a new thing in America. I completely concur with that. I have been hearing the Lord say it is a it is the dawning of a new day in America. It is a reset. Actually, guys, in the Hebrew calendar, um, you know, because God does things in times and for seasons. Amen. The election day actually started on the day that the Hebrews know that Noah entered the ark. Okay. Entered the ark with the animals. And then the following day was the day that the flood started. Now, here's what is really amazing to me, all right, is that not only did the election start on the day that Noah and the animals entered the ark, and then the following day was the day that the flood began to, to cleanse and reset the earth, to um, literally purify all of the corruption and the evil, but if the 
things that are happening right now, if all of this fraud and the election stuff is exposed, then it is going to go to the Supreme Court, all right? The date that the Electoral College would meet is in December, I believe it's December 3rd, and what is really interesting about that day is that is the day that the Ark landed, okay? Um, so, God is totally in control of this whole thing, all right? And he speaks in parables and in prophetic cycles. So I'm just, okay, so I'm going to go back to this because that wasn't on here. This is, that was me, okay? Um, okay, so there is a destiny on this nation that Satan has tried to pry out of the hands of God's people. However, God is saying, I have a plan. It is critical that your destiny and the destiny of America come forth. This is so much more important than we can even begin to know. On September 20, 2020, Holy Spirit gave Rebecca Greenward a powerful word. She contacted the author, I believe is Dutch Sheets, two days ago and said the Lord had been reminding her of it and impressing on her that it is for now. And this is the word. The enemy thinks he has secured great victories in this season, but I am the master of the chessboard that the world, man, and Satan have attempted to manipulate through humanism, demonic delay, and antichrist agendas. Whoa. I have sudden moves that Satan and corrupt men will not see coming. There will be sudden moves initiated on the game board that will trump evil and corruption. These moves will secure victory. Remember that while I hung on the cross, Satan thought he had won. But I secured the keys he had stolen and in a surprise not yet seen move, rose from the grave and defeated death and hell. Don't think darkness and evil have won. Their defeat and destruction has secured, was secured on the cross and sealed by my resurrection life. Amen. Amen. Okay. There will be more suddenly surprise moves. I will initiate the final secure move of checkmate on the game board, which the enemy has set in motion among the people and nations. My ecclesia must rise above the roar of chaos and see perceive and discern from my victorious eternal throne room position. She must operate in the victory strategy. The world looks different from the sight of victorious redemption. I then saw the U.S. in a vision and the Lord spoke, look for the next season and swift strategic maneuvers. They will come suddenly and swiftly, but with great effectual victory. I saw the sound of intercession, worship, prophetic declaration, including strategic warfare decrees resounding out as sound waves in the spiritual atmosphere. They penetrated and pierced through the canopy and shroud of darkness, evil, lies, and corruption. Glory, light, and justice broke through shining throughout the land. Hallelujah. Now is not the time to be silent, okay? Now is the time for the armed and ready battalion of spiritual warriors to engage, to sh secure the kingdom order for the new era. It is... It is the now time to tip this reset moment into righteous kingdom alignment, time and harvest. Hallelujah. Okay. So guys, um, with that being said, victory belongs to us. Okay. Um, I heard the Lord. He has been saying that the next 30 days are crucial. Even the next three months to January are crucial for the intercessors to arise and to pray. It is, it is crucial that we are intentional about this, okay? The church cannot go back to sleep, okay? We cannot go back to sleep. We have to be awake. Um, so, Lord, we just, you can find this on the Give Him 15 app, and um, I think somebody just shared it. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate you guys so much. 
I'm so blessed, guys. There are 276 people on here that are praying right now. Guys, share this video. Share this video, okay? Because we are going to be effective. We are going to be effective. The Lord loves our prayers. He hears our prayers. And even now, as you guys are praying in the Spirit and you're agreeing with me, um, the bowls of, of incest of the prayers of the saints, the incense is rising to the throne room and the bowls are, are being filled with our prayers and they are going to tip out, okay? They're going to tip out over our land and it is going to be a sweet aroma, a sweet smell that is released across our land that the fog of war will dissipate as the incense smoke from our prayers from heaven is released across this land and it will dissipate and it will nullify the stench of corruption and death that has tried to take over our nation. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So we are going to pray. If you guys have the Give Him 15 app, I would encourage you to, um, I don't know if you can do it where you're watching. If you're able to get on another device and pray with me as we pray this. But um, we just want to acknowledge that the Lord is doing a new thing in the earth and we welcome him to do it. And we want to ask him to unfold his plans, unfold his plans. Thank you guys for sh sharing, okay? Um, we want to declare that the church will not be muzzled. We must speak up and we want to determine to be a part of his plan. Okay, so this is not about our opinions. This is about we don't even belong to this earth. We don't belong to this nation. We belong to a kingdom that is greater. And this nation was formed and it was set apart to be a um, to 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 reflect the nature of Jesus and to proclaim the gospel from our shores. Do you hear me? That's what this nation was founded on, was for religious freedom. So that our ancestors came here looking for a new land to be able to worship God freely without being uh, persecuted uh, from the Church of England, okay? So we we need to, to pray that we are going to be determined to be a part of his plan. And so, Lord, we know you have a plan for America. It is vital to you that the destiny of America comes forth. Help us understand just how important this is to you. We know it is about the aligning of the nations and your coming worldwide harvest of souls. The enemy has been trying to get us out of timing and we won't allow that to happen in Jesus name. God, we encourage your church. You encourage your church to speak up and the church will not be muzzled. Our voices will be heard. We will see the purposes of God manifest in America. In Jesus name, Lord, we say you are the master chess player. Satan never has and never will outmaneuver you. You are about to make moves that will trump the plans of Satan against this nation. You are not going to allow this election to be stolen. You will, uh, we ask you to make moves now to overthrow every evil scheme and strategy. We ask you to give very wise strate strategy to legal teams of our president. We ask you to get the cases to the appropriate judges. We ask you that the Supreme Court, when the, when the Supreme Court becomes involved, they will rule light righteously. Give us your ruling, God. This has already been decreed in the courts of heaven. And so, Father, we just uh, release angels with those court decrees and those documents to come forth into the natural realm now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for your ruling, Father. 
We bind every plan and activity of Satan's kingdom. We declare they will not prosper. We close the door to evil, stealing of votes and counting of unlawful votes. We decree that your kingdom rule will now come and your will will be accomplished in Christ's name. Hallelujah. Amen. We decree that Christ's kingdom rule is being released into this election now in Jesus mighty name borra bahaye sere de ashoto rabahaya matrebehe ke ke arasatara diaso saints just pray in the spirit with me just pray in the spirit with me for a few minutes okay hare de asura bahaya mashakato tatare de de aso romo sete te aradhai de 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 asama yete de de akatrebeana shotra bahaya mo shere de asuro bo shetara de akaye sanarani atura bahaya shonara mahaya sheke tatere de asa Lord, I just pray for the intercessors in this nation, God. I pray for your church in this nation, God, that they would awake, that they would awake, that even now you are the light that is breaking forth in their spirit. I bind a spirit of slumber off the church of America right now in the name of Jesus. And I say to you, awake, O oh sleeper, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Father, I just release fire over the intercessors right now that, that your intercessors would arise in this season to give birth to your plans in the nation and around the world. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. I come against a spirit of a deaf and dumb spirit, a spirit that would try to muzzle the bride and I loose the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Judah to come forth in your bride, Jesus. I command the roar of the Lord to come forth through the intercessors in the church in this nation that no longer would a spirit of intimidation try to cause us to sit down and shut up, but that we will come forth with the boldness of the gospel of Jesus Christ to declare what is true, what is right, what is lawful, and what is unlawful, and what is unrighteous, that we might see a generation be saved and come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. I Break the spirit of intimidation that has been coming against the bride. That has been coming against the bride. I break the spirit of intimidation right now. And I just pray that every single person under the sound of my voice, every person that is a spirit-filled believer in Jesus Christ will not be afraid to offend a, a, a politically correct spirit. Spirit that would be afraid to offend wickedness, that they would speak and that their voice would be heard and that it would cut and it would convict and it would separate bone from marrow and spirit from flesh in Jesus' name. God, we release your severe sword of your word to come and cut and separate now in Jesus' name to come and cut and separate flesh from spirit. God, I pray for a spirit of holiness to fall on your people. I pray for fire to fall on your people. I pray for fresh power and wind to fall on your people in Jesus mighty name that we will not sit down and shut up any longer. We have been tied up, bound up, muzzled up, masked up for too long and we are ripping off the muzzle. We were not created to be muzzled. We were created to roar. We release the roar. This is the season. This is 
the era of the roaring 20s where you are giving your bride back her mouth, her mouth. And so, Father, I thank you. Lord, put the coal to our lips. Put the coal to our lips, God. Forgive us, Father, for any time that we have used our mouth for the wrong reasons. Every time that we have released curses instead of blessings, God. Any time we have released unbelief and doubt instead of faith and thanksgiving, Father. Put the coal to our mouths again, God. Let us be careful that what we speak goes forth and it produces because you have put power in our mouths. And so, Father, we repent. We repent on behalf of the church. We repent on behalf of the nation, God. Anywhere that we have come into agreement with a spirit of silence, we renounce the spirit of silence and we come into agreement that we are going to roar with the lion of the tribe of Judah. Praise will be on our lips. Thanksgiving and blessing will be on our lips. God, that the love that you have through us would come through so loudly that it will cut and separate and convict and produce what you desire for it to produce in the world. In Jesus' mighty name and for your glory. Guys, I just feel like wherever you are and you're listening to this, ask the Father to forgive you for any time that you have sat back and you've been silent when you have known that you were supposed to speak, okay? That that you have just begun to repent for any time that you have allowed a spirit of intimidation to sit you down and shut you up um, and, and come out of agreement with that thing, okay? Come out of agreement with that thing. Yeah, God, and, and we just just, that is a, it is a spirit of antichrist that has come against the church. Okay. Antichrist. It is antichrist because here's the thing. Anytime somebody tries to come against the church, the bride of Christ to get you to sit down and shut up and to intimidate you. It is an antichrist spirit because it is trying to prevent you from releasing what the word of the Lord that has been put in you. Do you hear me? Because he knows that God has given his kings and priests power in their mouths. Do you hear me? There, the Bible says that out of their out of the mouths of kings and priests, there is power. And us in Christ, we are now kings and priests after the order of Melchizedek. Okay. And so whatever we speak will come to pass. God speaks and it creates. Now, Jesus Christ, who is living, the God himself is living inside of you and he desires to come out of your mouth to create, to manifest things in earth. So, so just wherever you are, just begin to say, Father, I repent. I change my mind, God. I see how my silence has allowed an antichrist spirit to uh, have dominion in, in my life and in my country and, and in my city, God. I repent right where I'm at. God, I, I change my mind about that thing and I turn my heart, my affection, and my thoughts back to you, God, where you have said that whatever I speak, will become manifest, that whatever I ask in your name, according to your will, you will accomplish, that your word goes forth and it produces what it was sent to produce, that you have put the power of life or death in my tongue today. And so God, forgive me for any time I have spoke curses instead of blessings. Forgive me for any time that my mouth has come into agreement with doubt and unbelief uh, instead of faith, instead of your word. Forgive me, God. I, I renounce a, an antichrist spirit in the name of Jesus. I renounce all agreement that I have had with a spirit of silence and Holy Spirit. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus, that your blood 
cleanses me, that it washes me from all unrighteousness. And I ask, I thank you, God, that you have forgiven me as I have confessed my sins. And now, Father, according to your word and to your will, I ask you to fill me afresh with a spirit of boldness. I ask you, Father, I ask you, Jesus, that you would possess me with the spirit of the roaring lion of Judah. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Just be praying with me. Pray with me. I ask that you would possess me with a spirit of of boldness, even more boldness now, Father. In Jesus' name, boldness that I have never had before. Boldness to speak the truth rather than to sit down and shut up for fear of offending somebody. To to stand up and to stand in the gap for those who do not have a voice, God. To stand in the gap uh, for those who are victims, who are true victims that do not have a voice. Father, I repent and I say, that I will be a voice, that I will be a trumpet, that I will release your voice, your decree, your will, your love, and even your word, and even your your judgment. If it is required of me, I will not sit down and shut up. And, and so, Father, I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you for what you're doing right now. I just release that over people, Father. I pray for a fresh and filling of the Holy Spirit and a fire in Jesus mighty name. I pray that each person that even now you are falling on people. Uh, Vanessa said, sister, a few minutes ago, I received this, but he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but all the wicked shut their mouths. Yes, amen. Woo, that's a word. Hallelujah. Guys, decree this, that the wicked shall shut their mouth, but the righteous shall open up their mouths and roar. I want you to decree that with me, okay? If the Lord doesn't have you uh, in, in, you know, engaged in another prophetic decree, the wicked shall shut their mouth, but the righteous righteous shall open up their mouths and roar in Jesus name. Thank you, Vanessa. That is, that is a good word. That was a good decree. Hallelujah. Yeah. And Sharon said, uh, Acts 17 30 and the time of this ignorance, God, uh, uh, wrinkled at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Yes, to repent. We command all men everywhere, men, people, that means people, not just men as in like, you know, the gender, but that means that is actually the word for people. We command all people everywhere to repent, to change their minds and to turn their minds and their thoughts back to God and to turn your heart back to God in Jesus mighty name. Sonia says, I'm in tears. I've been feeling this where God is asking me to, to speak up. Yeah, Sonia, I just bless you. I bless your mouth. I bless you to speak the truth. I bless you to not worry about what people think of you, but to care only what Christ thinks of you. In Jesus' name, I... And actually, I just release that over everybody here, everybody here, everybody here under the sound of my voice. I break off a spirit of uh, fear of man off of those watching and off of the body of Christ in Jesus name. I break a spirit of fear of man off of people watching and I release a spirit of the fear of the Lord over the body of Christ and over those watching in Jesus name. God, we recognize that we cannot fear what people think about us in 
and also fear you. And so God, we choose wisdom, which is to fear God. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of God, the reverential respect of God and not of men. Because Lord, you look on the heart and you know us truly while people may only assume our hearts and judge us. And so God, we break that off of people in Jesus' mighty name and we release the mind and the mouth of Christ over those who are listening in Jesus' mighty name. All these awesome decrees, the wicked shall shut their mouth, but the righteous shall open up their mouth and roar. Amen. Michael Cobb said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Yes, we just decree that. We say that the United States of America is one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All and we decree that this land, this nation, has God as our Lord. Hallelujah. God as our Lord. We are blessed. We shall be blessed because America is a nation whose God is the Lord Yahweh, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach. We belong to you, Jesus. You know, guys, this just came to me in the spirit that the Lord wants his church to, uh, to repent for a, uh, escapism theology. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. Okay. The escapism theology is the theology that says, well, go ahead and let the world go to hell because the more hell the world goes to, the sooner of Christ's coming. That's actually not true. That's not biblical. It is, it is not biblical. Okay. Christ gets no glory. If, if he comes in and just snatches us out of here when everything is going to hell, do you know that the Bible says that it is for, it is actually God's mercy that he doesn't return sooner uh, than his, uh, than his time because he desires that none should perish, but that all should receive everlasting life. Okay. So this is not like, Oh, just let the world go to hell. Come on, Jesus. I'm just waiting for you to come and snatch me out of here. Okay. That's not what he says. Actually, if you want to know the truth in the Bible, the Bible says that God comes and he snatches the wicked. All right. <laughs> That's kind of concerning. So we need to not have this mindset that like we're just going to like, okay, let the world go to hell because God's going to come snatch me out of here. That is self-centered, self-righteous, and it is not biblical. And we need to repent from that. We need to go and we need to uh, we need to preach the gospel. We need to stand in the gap. Okay, we need to stand up for righteousness for righteousness sake. All right. Right? Um, and I just felt that. I, I don't know why, but I, I felt like uh, somebody watching this needs to say, you know what, Father, you don't get, you're, you're right, Jesus, you don't get the glory if we're snatched out of here prematurely. God, we desire that you would that you would withhold your second coming until your inheritance that your people are full that that every single one that you died to save would receive you Jesus that is what our hearts desire that your inheritance would be full that your inheritance would be full in Jesus name sharadaya sura bahaya moroko totore bahaya Sheba Seredia Sunanamarata Shekat Rebehe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We break the spirit of rejection. Stephen and Samantha said, I break the spirit of rejection that the body of Christ has. Yeah, we break that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Sheba Seredia Suraba Katrebehe, the Rediano Robo Shetre de Asa. Burrobo Kotrebehe, Yada the Yasunanamahaya. And uh, Cole Dunquist said, Matthew 10 28. 
28, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both body and soul. The blood of Jesus is over us. We are under the protection of Jesus and God wants good for us. He is our father. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, guys, I also just feel to release this. Sometimes, sometimes when we are speaking righteousness and we are speaking the love of God, it is going to sound convicting and people who are living in sin, who are not ready to, to know the Lord are going to f tell you that it's hate speech. They're going to tell you that you're uh, prejudiced. They're going to tell you that you're, you know, homophobic. They're going to tell you that you're judgmental, that you're like an awful Christian. And I'm here to tell you that that is a lie. Okay. That that is a lie. All right. Look, Jesus was anointed with the oil of joy more than any of his fellows because he hated unrighteousness and he loved righteousness more than anyone else. Okay. So when we are speaking the truth, sometimes because it cuts and it separates our flesh from our spirit and bone from marrow, it does not feel good. Okay. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel very discipline does not feel very loving, but we know because we are in Christ that it is love because when people come into agreement with that word, it releases life because God is the one who knows what we were made for. He knows what is right and what is wrong because he is the author of truth. He is the author of life. He is the author of love and in him, look, God is love. He is light and in him, there is no shadow or a darkness or of turning. Okay. He, is good. And so he is the one who gets to say what is right and what is wrong. It's not man. Just because it feels good doesn't mean that it is righteous. It doesn't mean that it is good. So guys, I just bless you to uh, put on the breastplate of righteousness and to know that you are blessed when you are persecuted for his namesake. Jesus says that you are blessed when you are persecuted for his namesake for doing what is right, for saying what is right, okay? And you don't have to defend yourself. I, I had the Lord tell me one time, he said, Krista, you can either choose to defend yourself and be your own judge and your own defender, or you can get out of the way and shut your mouth and let me be your judge and your defender. Because every tongue that rises against you, I shall put to shame. I shall condemn because that is your inheritance in me. Okay. So when the Lord told me that, that like set me free from so much stuff because I like, I have guys, come on. I, I know any of y'all that are on here that follow me, you know that I get some crazy evil stuff manifest on my posts. Okay. And it does not bother me because blessed are are those who are persecuted for my my namesake when when you are persecuted when you are spoke horrible against because of Jesus Jesus says that you are blessed do you hear me you are blessed you are blessed and so um yeah you are blessed you are blessed so um whew, all right Man, who that was fire. I just, I felt it lift. I felt it lift. So I feel like we're done for this meeting today. But hallelujah, man. The effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. Okay? And so, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching this. Um, guys, today is my very first day in full-time ministry. Woo! Um, how exciting is that? Uh, last week was my last week at the Rose Room Salon taking clients. I, I still, you know, but, um, 
I, I feel like a fresh thing, a fresh thing that's come on me today. Um, and I love you all. If, uh, you guys, I, somebody, I saw somebody mention something about my glory carrier shirt. Uh, you can go to KristaElisha.com to get a glory carrier shirt. Um, we also have hoodies, which I cannot wait to get, uh, cause it's that time of year. Um, and or to donate you there's a giving tab there to connect with me um if you guys got any decrees or you saw anything you had any visions like prophetic visions that you would like to share please or you have testimonies about what you experienced during the live please um send those to my uh my inbox my private message you will get an automated response i'm gonna do my best to try to go through um go through them i may not uh comment back because I get so many, but I'm going to try to go through them because I'm going to continue to pray into those. Um, uh, yeah. What else do I have to say? Oh, if you would like to, to give to a rice king of ministries or to sow a lot love offering, you can give via PayPal or, uh, Venmo and, uh, another announcement. I'm going to try to do these. Um, I really feel like I'm supposed to do this three times a week. Um, so I'm thinking that it's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon to do this. And, um, so, uh, if you guys are interested in that, please, um, you know, follow me, uh, my page. You can choose to see me first to be a part of these things. And, um, I just love you guys. Thank you so much for, for being here. Your, uh, your prayers are effective and we are in this together. This is interactive. This is not just me ministering alone. This is you interacting from the courts of heaven, from the throne room and releasing powerful intercession from heaven to earth to see the Lord invade our land and heal it. Amen. Um, so I love you guys. Jesus, is there anything I'm forgetting? Okay. The other thing that I feel like I'm supposed to share with you guys is that this uh, weekend, this Saturday, uh, Saturday 11 14 2020, at the Revival Rooms, um, if you, that is uh, AK Ministries Revival Hub, we are um, going to be celebrating our one year anniversary and we are having a special baptism, baptismal service. And I am so excited to be able to dunk people and we are going to lay hands on them. We're going to prophesy over them. We're going to release impartation over them. It is going to be absolutely off the chain lit and um, it is open to the public. So if you would like to join us in Oxford, Ohio, um, seven o'clock in uh, the revival rooms in Oxford, uh, please go look for the Revival Rooms Facebook page or you can send me an instant message. And um, it's 14 West Park Place in Oxford, Ohio. Um, we would love to be able to baptize you, to pray for you, to be in the presence with you. It's going to be crazy good. Um, and yeah, so I just want to open that up to you guys because it's, it's a big deal. So all right, y'all. Um, I love you. God bless you. God keep you. May his face shine upon you and uh, may your family be blessed and your generations after you in Jesus mighty name. And I will see y'all next time. Okay.